Hello, today I am going to show you the difference between users and guest users in Microsoft Project for the Web. For that purpose, I am going to create project project with users and you will see sorry here is typo and I will choose one a date but I don't care which date it will be let's say 25th of October and now I can here create this task A B C with duration one two three but all those are not important for what I'm going to explain here I can assign someone to my task. There are two possibilities. I can, when I create a brand new project, assign someone, let's say John, here. And when I find John, I can click on it and I can choose. Do I want to assign John as a part, as a member of a group, project with users group? Or I want him as a guest user. To explain that, if I go here to group members, I, am, I will use brand new group project with users. So I have always possibility when I create a, a project to create, to choose a group which already exists or create a new one. I will create a new one just to, to, to show you that. Uh, and now I created a group which has the same name as a project. Now, I can add a resource in two ways. I can add the members from here. Which members are going to be uh, part of my group? I can say John. Okay? And I can say Mary. And Mary is also part. So when I assign John here and Mary, if they log in with their account to Microsoft Project for the Web, they will be able to see their tasks. But what if I want to assign Peter? I will say Peter here. I will find a Peter in a moment. But I don't want to assign him as a part, as a member of my group. I just want to assign him as a guest. So when I put just a sign, you can see that the person which I assign is not a member of the group and will not be able to see their assigned tasks until they are added to the group. But I don't want Peter, let's say that Peter is outs outsource vendor. And I know that Peter will do a task uh, uh, B, but I don't want him to see the project or his tasks. Which now, if, you, if I want to check which members are part of my group and which are not, I can go here to group members and I can have, I can uh, see here two tabs. Members are people who are members of my group, Project with Users, and if they log in, they will be able to see their tasks, Other, and I can add them a, as I want, so I will add Alan. But on the, other, on the other hand, if I go to other people, I will see all persons who are assigned to some tasks but are not members of the group. And the difference here is that I can add group member directly here, but I cannot add other people here. So if I want to, let's say, add Tim as other people, I cannot add him from this screen. I should add it directly to the task. I will say Tim. And then I should check just assign. And when I Check, uh, check just a sign, and if I assign him as a guest, I will see him here under other people. And finally, be aware that people who are member of the group 
And in my case, those are Alan, Jim, John, Mary, and myself. And other people, Peter and Tim, are all here in my user, uh, are all users of my tenant. So you can see that Alan, Jim, John, Mary, Paula, Peter, and Tim are here. So difference between members of a group and other people is that members of the group are what the word says and sentence. They are members of my group and other people are people from my organization, but they are not part of the group. So that is the way in which you can make a difference if you want to assign people to a group and then they will be able to see their task or you want to assign other people from your organization to a project but they, in that case that will, they will not be able to see their tasks. Hope this helps. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.